And referee Kevin Cassidy setting the 83 final in motion with Drum forced to break and Peter Stevenson in possession, being battled up by Larry Cudden. Trying to find Jimmy McCluskey. And McCluskey being fouled and the free to be taken by the midfielder Sean Riley just some good crossfield ball picked up by Kevin O'Kane but team captain Dermot O'Hara wide and receiving a knock in the act of kicking the ball and will possibly require some attention in the early moment of McKenna's kick out good ball into the midfield Picked up by Sean Riley. In these early moments, Drum very much in the ascendancy. Johnny Keel failing to get the tackle on. But full back, Terence Madden. Wiley campaigner, clearing his lines. Marty O'Donnell trying to get down on it, but it's the Glen team captain, Frank McKee, to his midfield partner, Larry Cudden. And fine penetrating ball from Cudden, trying to find Mickey Morn. But the combination of Full back and centre half, eliminating the Glen threat. Sean McKenna having some difficulty, but eventually long, long clearance from Danny McKenna. But again, Peter Stevenson sweeping, cleaning up and being fouled. Chip forward, but the ball being picked up, Johnny Kielt. Getting in rather a weak clearance. This time the ball eludes Peter Stevenson. John McKee over anxious and filing the ball on the ground. And his left full back. Patsy Bork with the free. Sliding off the outside of the boot, but nevertheless, Jimmy McCluskey taking possession and withstanding heavy attentions. Although adjudged by referee Kevin Cassidy to have charged with the ball and Glenn have a free. Frank McKee with the free and driven cross field. Seamus Heffern, first touch of the ball. Trying to race outside the tackle. And being forced across field. Lack of support. Eventually getting it back. And a good effort there from the Glen right half forward in the Gormley, but wide of the upright. Obviously a rehearsed move between keeper and full back and now Francis Burke. Drum attempting to build up their attacks from deep, deep positions. Under 21 star Burke. Sean Riley. Having a good game so far at midfield for Drum. And the movement eventually cut out by the Glen left half, Marty O'Donnell. Forward, and again Peter Stevenson, rock like at the centre of the Drum defence and clearing his lines and being fouled in the act of delivery. And so Drum have a free almost on the Glen 45. The breeze strong left to right and a good driven ball into the centre of the Glen defence. A good defensive work by the midfielder Frank McKee. Forward to Ender Gormley, withstanding the attentions of the drum men and feeding a good forward ball. Long, long ball for Mickey Moon. And clever flicked on and suddenly the drum defence has been prized open. Seamus Heffron. Magnificent scoring chance. Good drive and a good save there from Seamus McCall in the drum goals. But the ball goes loose. And in fact, I do believe it is a penalty. And this penalty to be taken by Glenn's most youthful forward, Emla Gormley. And while an accurate free taker in his own right, this is an ominous responsibility for a player so young. But he's equal to it, a fine, fine score from Donald Gormley, tracking the ball to the net and giving Glenn the lead after five minutes of play. One goal to no score. Gormley. Hmm? the Gormley. Who'd I say? Francis Burke with the kick out and the ball being held up on the breeze and lack of tackling there allowed Joe Kane to pick it up. Go clear of the tackle. Peter Stevenson placing it down the centre. But Danny McMaster, the young centre half, cutting it out. And again, the referee Kevin Cassidy spotting the late tackle. And the free being awarded from where the ball. Frank McKee with this free. And it's a long, long ball. And Francis Burke, immaculate fielding from the fullback. 
with the clearance, eluding all and over the end line. And the Gormley with the sideline. And looking up for a target man, things are very static. Little target. Seamus Heffron coming out to it. Slipping the attractions of Kevin O'Hara. Trying to control it. Eventually, it's midfielder Kevin Kieran Farn, but eluding it. And it's Larry Cudden picking it up, and a fine point from Larry Cudden. As the ball popped out of the drum midfielder's hands, Larry Cudden snapped it up, and the county midfielder easing Glenn into a 1 1 to no score lead after seven minutes. Francis Port with the kick out. A long kick out against the breeze. Hanging and magnificent fielding from Frank McKee. Shrugging off the opponent. Good ball to Ender Gormley. Finding Mickey Morn. Full forward. Roving deep. Now, full back has got the attentions and the full back stopping unfairly. And obviously, there too, some shouting off the ball. D dissension from the drum players sees the ball be moved 10 metres further and put into a very scorable position from Ender Gormley. St. Patrick's High School star coming up, settling himself, but just too much curl and wide of the upright. Most uncharacteristic appearance. Francis Burke with the kick out. Again, a good ball, dropping on the 45. Broken. Mickey Morn gathering. Feeding out to Ender Gormley. This time, Ender Gormley, long, long ball from the 45 metre line. A magnificent point from Gormley. That was a good score. Ender Gormley now having scored a goal and a point of Glenn's total of 1 2 to no score. Eight minutes of play gone. Kick out again. Seamus Heffron being tackled from behind, losing the ball. Peter Stevenson. And Peter Stevenson being fouled on the drum 45 metre line. And again the ball chipped forward. This time finding Sean Riley. Drum switching the avenue of attack, but just too much weight from that ball. And Kevin O'Kane unable to keep it in play. And so the sideline to be taken by the Glen right back, Johnny Keelt. Good ball driven forward. Well taken by Ender Gormley, having a good game so far. And Mickey Moran causing problems for the full back. Seamus Heffron looking for support. And very much the meat in the sandwich. And uh, that will take a lot of the sting out of the Glen left half forward. As he rose to avoid the tackle, there was never anything else, but he was going to be sandwiched. And the free from almost dead straight in front of the goals, Ender Gormley to take it. And this time, no mistake. Glenn won three, drum no score. Ten minutes of play gone. Francis Borg kick out. John McKee deflecting. Seamus Heffern, short ball, Ender Gormley. And a fine penetrating ball to Cahill Gass, he gets a hand on it, but Seamus McCall quickly up his line. Reading the situation, and Francis Burke clearing his lines. Dermot O'Hara, the drum team captain, forced to come deep. With Barry Young, the Derry Minor star, failing to feed through, and Kieran Farn cutting it out. But Terence Madden snuffing out the danger. And despite the attentions of Anthony O'Hara, it's a long, long clearance, but it's Sean Riley now in possession. Good football from Drum at this moment. Jimmy McCluskey. Peter Stevenson, unattended, inside the Glen 45, trying to make an angle for himself. Jimmy McCluskey in possession. Forward, Peter Stevenson. But again, the deflection. Seamus Heffron. Finding John McKee. Mickey Morn. Full forward coming deep. Back to the midfielder. And obviously. That off the ball incident where the full back took out the Glen midfielder may have repercussions for Glen later in the game because Frank McKee seriously injured, but play continuing. And Frank McKee there showing the signs of distress as the referee 
notes the name of the drum fullback, Francis Burke, who took out the Glen captain as he made a return pass. And really the type of incident one does not like to see too often. And Frank McKee, having recovered, takes this free on the 45 metre line, but it's a poor one. Locked down, Seamus Heffron fails to grab it. Frank McKee back out to it. The long delivery, dropping on the end line, but wide. Francis Burke again with the kick out. Again a good one, dropping on the 45 metre line. Broken forward, Seamus Heffernan. Again forced wide. Get hold of Glass. But Glass sliding the ball just inside the upright. A good point from Glass, a good movement from Glenn. Francis Burke kick out again down the centre. And Enda Gormley reaching magnificently for the ball and holding tight to it. He's done all the hard work. But he's given it away. Sean Riley clearing his lines. And snapped up there by Kevin O'Kane. Began at right half forward, now operating left half forward. Penetrating ball. But off his lines comes Colin McKenna. Good clearance. Frank McKee dispossessed. Kieran Farren. And fouling the drum midfielder. And the free to be taken by former Derry and Rilby Cup star. Peter Steele. Good ball, dropping in dangerously. But grabbed by Barry Young and overholding the ball. And the ball driven hard over the bar to open the drum account by Sean Riley. The right midfielder making no mistake with that one to open the drum account after 16. You're as fucking bad as Matt Carruth. <laughs> Seamus Heffron in possession, hooping the ball cross field. Ander Gormley breaking it into his space where there are three drum men and no Glen men. Good ball from Peter Stevenson to Sean Riley. The ball chipped forward cleverly, finding Kevin O'Kane. Looking up for support and getting it from Jimmy McCluskey. But a rather rash pass there from McCluskey allows the possession back into the Glen hands. Seamus Heffernan. Mickey Morn. Mickey Morn having created the space, drawn the full back. Needs movement, needs support. Gets it from Enda Gormley. And the full back having a problem because. Mickey Moore hasn't gone in, and does he stay in or go out? And good work from Ender Gormley, although he's been fouled persistently there for some seconds. Quickly taken, finding Mickey Moore in the open space. But wide. Colin Feeney with the kick out this time. Cahill Glass. But Squandermania having hit the Glen forward line, a wide from Cattle Glass. Glen's fifth wide of this half, and the score, as you can see, 1 4 to 1 point. In. Glum having introduced a substitute, Donald Brawley, this vastly experienced. Having made an, an impact the moment he arrived in the field when Glenn Mann went down injured. And here Brawley back in possession again. A man of, should be said, many drum battles. And again, Glenn Mann going down and lack of support, putting them in a crucial position. Well blocked by Terence Madden. And in the loose ball, Johnny Keel coming out of the ruck. Good, resolute work from Keith, because that was heavy personal pressure from the drum men. And there again we have the sort of personal intimidation one does not like to see in a football field. Bobby Burke and Terence Madden snuffing out the danger. And the sideline ball driven across field.